And uh, so looking at the second wave again, A, E, O, OM. Okay, A, E, O, OM. What's for me very interesting is the OM at the end, okay? Like I say, they, they say about the O, it that O, it contains all the uni energy in the, the universe, the OM. And the M grounds it. M is is is, con is connected with material, or in the Hebrew word, the Hebrew word mamash, the physical, the real, the material, the manifestation. Okay, so that M, that that O and the M is this infinite combination of infinite energy grounded into the material. So. Um, and by the way, when, when chanting this wonderful sacred mantra, um, it's wonderful to move, to find body movements for each of these sounds. Each of these sounds is infinitely sacred, the infinitely sac sacredness of the vowel sounds in all the cultures. And that OM, I once saw uh, the OM being um, demonstrated in movement where somebody puts their hands together, they join at the fingertips above their head and their arms make a circle. And then as they say the O, they separate the, uh, the hands, which make a circle way above their head with their arms extended, and they, they bring both arms down from the sides and they put the hands together in a mudra on their lap. So the O, that sacred O of creation, that sacred circle that contains the whole, all things, is grounded into this mudra, which is sort of like an M, one, one hand on top of another, I think it was. And so in other words, they, they represented the O in the movement of their arms and hands. And it was tremendously powerful. So um, you might want to play with movements for all of these sounds. Find the movements that are true for you, for this sacred mantra of ah, I, o, I, o, I, o. Anyway, play with it um, and, and feel the, the great sacredness of it, okay? Now, um, now, uh, now I would like to go to my own discovery, okay? Something well, as far as I know, nobody else has come across, but then I could be wrong. Um, the Keys of Enoch, one of my great inspirations, talks about something called an L conversion system. Okay? Now, the L conversion system, the L is the 12th letter in the Hebrew al alphabet. Okay? And that's very, that's, um, very meaningful. Because our whole world, and even our whole um, universe, is built on the number 12. This dimension is a 12 base or 6 base um, dimension. So you have 12 uh, hours on the clock, 12 months of the year. Uh, you could keep going, 12 chakras. Um, you could find 12 all over the place. Um, 12, you know, there are many, many 12s. And Cryon talks about how it's this, a 12-based or a 6-based system. And um, so that Lamed, a Lamed is like a letter L. The, the letter L is almost a, an exact uh, replica of the, of the letter Lamed. The, the English alphabet comes from the Hebrew Aleph Bet. Um, as uh, the Keys of Enox discusses, there are five uh, galactic languages in the most sacred and, and important in many ways is the Hebrew. And so that Lamed, it connects heaven and earth. It's, it's vertical. It looks like an L, um, like a script L, okay? So the, and, uh, the 12 dimensions. So, um, so here we are in the, uh, the Hebrew Aleph Bet. What is an L conversion system? And why the letter L? And why the sound of L? Well, an L conversion system means a step-down conversion system. 
Um, there are, of course, tremendous energies in the universe in different dimensions. And we, on the physical world, uh, need these energies to be stepped down so that we can live here and not be overwhelmed by the power and, uh, and the frequency of certain, um, of certain energies, radiation. So the L uh, conversion system has to do with the, the stepping down of the energy of the 12 dimensions. Um, and that's why it has to be L, be, well, it has to be the Lamed because it's the 12th letter. And the L is, the le is this letter in the Lamed as well that represents verticality, that it, when you say the L sound, your tongue goes up to the roof of your mouth and you're actually connecting above and below and the energy is above and below. So it has to be that L sound and the Lamed, uh, which represents the L. So uh, Mikael and Gabriel and Uriel, Raphael and so on and so forth, why always the L at the end of their names? Because they are, they represent L conversion systems. They step down the energy from the highest heavens and bring it to us for our benefit so that, um, so that we can do well here and uh, prosper. So there are other conversion systems as well. The um, Solara's great book, um, The Starborn, in that book uh, she receives information about um, the, the star Antares. And, and the star Antares is actually um, a double stargate. It is a conversion system. It is a conversion star. It, it's represented by an X. And the, um, the, the, the angle which points down, which is the top of the X, the triangle, the angle that points down, um, is the energy coming down. And it's turned around, which is represented by the bottom half of the X which is an ang uh, triangle, um, of course, an angle pointing up. That's what an X is, the, uh, the top and the bottom. So the entering conversion switches the energy and um, makes, it, uh, makes it undergo this 180 degree polarity shift. Uh, it's a conversion. Uh, it's, a, it's a double star conversion. So she talks about uh, also about what's called an AV. The, the AV an AV conversion. Uh, the A represents the angle or the triangle pointing up, whereas the V, of course, represents the triangle pointing down. The same principle as, uh, as the X. So, um, so um, the, uh, here's the point. The Aleph Bet, the alphabet, which is the uh, product of the Aleph Bet, is a conversion system. Um, with the 22 sacred letters of the Hebrew Aleph Bet, each letter is what they call a flame geometry. It's also a conscious being. Uh, somehow, it's this conscious aspect of God, um, which which is used to create the universe that we know. So, sort of like an angelic consciousness, if you will. So the um, the A and the, uh, the Aleph and the Bet and the Gimel and the Dalet. I realized that some of the um, people watching this are not familiar with the Hebrew Aleph, uh, Aleph Bet. But um, as the Keys of Enoch, this, this crucial, uh, essential, central book to, um, to esoteric thought, um, even though the book was received in English, it's filled with Hebrew because Hebrew is a powerful tool. Hebrew is a stellar language. It's a galactic language. It's just, and um, each of those Hebrew letters, aside from being a, a, at some level a conscious entity, is also an idea, an, a central idea of creation. The, uh, um, and so the Hebrew Aleph Bet is a conversion system. The energy comes in as the Aleph, which is a very etheric, non-physical thing, and it then it has to pass through the bet, which is, um, well, it's that big bang. Why is the word big bang or the Hebrew word gray sheet, which means creation?